Will was in here the other day. He seemed pretty happy with the progress of the offense. Are they pretty much on schedule, do you feel? Or? You know, I, I think the guys are picking it up pretty good. They're uh, starting to understand more and more every day. Part of the process is you add things to them every day. And so that that's a challenge. Sometimes they're, they're, we're trying to fix the mistakes from the day before, but we're adding to their to their uh, install on that day. So it's hard to focus on sometimes correcting those mistakes when we're putting new things on them. But I think they're doing a good job. I think uh, you know what we've tried to do is create an offense that is you know as easy for us to learn as possible, but still complicated to defend. So I think it's an offense that, that over time, over 45 practices before our first game, that we'll have a pretty good understanding of it. Kurt, how did you get them to this point after all the meetings? It seemed like they had a pretty good grasp right away. On the field, pretty sharp. Well, you spend, you spend the time that you're allowed in the meeting room trying to, trying to create that understanding and showing it to them on tape. and, and um, you know, trying to put your install together that that makes sense for them to to understand it. But I think the biggest thing for us is is we try to create lining up simpler than most most play people. And and I think because of that, that's part of what you see is we're able to kind of get lined up in a hurry. It doesn't mean we always understand all the little things that's going on, but but we do a decent job of getting lined up. You got a lot of Duke fans after all the film work. What's that? I'm sorry. They got a lot of Duke fans on the team after all the film work. You know what? I think they're enjoying watching the tape just to see what's going on. But it, it, it's it's probably more fun for me to watch and and think back on the season now that it's over. Those guys, you know, they're challenged so much with trying to execute on the field and be able to handle all the things that we're giving them. I think I think they're just seeing bodies and not necessarily teams. You mentioned that fundamentals and execution are kind of a huge part of it. How do you kind of feel like that is through the first couple of practices? You know, I think it's good. I think part of what ends up happening when you're practicing early, you hear a lot of coaches yelling. And, and a lot of that yelling is, is fixing problems before they happen, with whether it's an alignment or their eyes in the right place or whatever it may be. So I think the first scrimmage is going to gonna tell us more when we, we get off the field and we try to stop, limit the communication. and and see where we are. I, again, I think we've got a lot of time to get this thing right, and, and we're going to have it concise and, and understand. They'll understand it. But I think the, the thing right now is you don't always know because you're, you're coaching on the run rather than sitting back and seeing it on, like a Saturday game will be. Obviously a different type of run game. How do you see the running backs kind of adjusting to it? So.